Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about pie chart and donor chart in Tableau. As you can see in this sample dashboard, it shows the percent of total profit by different customer segments. On the left side, it uses a bar chart and on the right side, it visualizes using a donor chart. Let's go ahead and see how we can create pie and donor charts in Tableau. Before you create a pie or donut chart, you will need to start by creating a basic bar chart. Drag customer segment to rows. Drag profit to columns. Change the computation from the default sum profit to percent of total profit. As you know, Tableau has the show me card, which I like a lot. It is a one-click button and allows you to easily convert a bar chart to a pie chart. Once you create the pie chart, you may want to adjust the marks such as color and or size to make the chart more visually appealing. For example, I want to increase the size of the pie chart. I also want to modify the labels to show the segment name and percent of total profit. Drag customer segment to label. Also drag profit to label. Modify some profit to percent of total profit. Pretty easy, right? As you may notice that creating a donut chart is not as straightforward as creating a pie chart in Tableau. In the show me card, there is no one click option available. It means you will need to go through a few additional steps to transform your pie chart into a donut chart. To create a donut chart from a pie chart, you need to drop the number of records under measures to rows. Change the default function apply to the number of records from sum to min. Once done, make a copy of this measure. Convert the second min number of records measure to dual access. And then hide the access headers. Under the marks card of the second min number of records, remove everything. Remove customer segment from the color mark. Remove total profit from size and angle marks. Also remove labels. Click color and change the color to white. Adjust the size to make it smaller than the original size of the pie chart. As the size decreases, the center of the donut will appear. Here is your donut chart. Although pie chart and donut chart are popular for data visualization and good for storytelling, when you consider using these charts, you need to be mindful of a few things. If there are too many segments or slices, it can sometimes be difficult to tell which is which, and it is therefore not usually visually appealing. I would suggest that you use a pie or donut chart when you have limited number of segments. Also, the size of the pie chart can sometimes be misleading when a very small slice may not represent extremely low value or percentage. Also, a very large slice may not always represent a large value or percentage. It all depends on the size relative to one another. And because of this, it may create confusions among people when they do not fully understand how to read and interpret the angles. Okay, I hope this video is helpful. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Thanks for watching and see you next time.